was very fortunate in my military career of flying two wars, World War II in Korea, and I was flying right wing on the second flight into the 82nd Airborne, drop zone T for terror. And we dropped at 1.15 in the morning, and they didn't hit the beaches till 6.30, Omaha Beach and Utah Beach. We got an awful lot of small arms fire, 25 caliber machine pistol was the majority of it. We had over 300 holes in our airplane. We got two hits, but a little larger, 27 millimeter, and it blew off a wingtip, and it blew the magneto area in a C-47, which was right up at the convergence of the two windshields up above, and sh sh put stuff all over my co-pilot, which he wiped off because he had his helmet and goggles and flak suit on. But to land in England again, to turn the airplane's engines off, I had to starve him from gasoline. But I went and looked at the airplane the next day, and it, it looked pretty bad, but in three days they had it repainted even. Those little holes and new wingtip and new mags and everything. Because I flew that airplane five days after Normandy. Yeah. We, uh, Bunch of us went through uh, basic academy, and uh, that was fascinating to me because it was a world that I had not been exposed to, and I learned a tremendous amount. Uh, there were two fatalities, homicides, down in Bloody Basin, and we were asked to go down and do an evidence search. We also had a search over by Sheepy Bridge. It took an awful long time to go those 36 miles over there. I thank heavens I had a four-wheel drive, otherwise I wouldn't have made it, and you couldn't get across the bridge, across the river, unless you had a horse or maybe an ATV. Oh, tremendously beneficial, and I think it's a very great asset to the department and to the county. And uh, one of the things that is not generally thought of is the immense feeling of gratitude that your neighbors feel. I volunteered on December 8th to become a private in the military. And I volunteered to be a pilot and I volunteered for the Pathfinders. So I just kept volunteering. I would say do it. It's uh, a very rewarding from personal point of view. It's rewarding from the point of view of your neighbors and the people you live with and work with in the Avapai County. And uh, you couldn't ask for a better volunteer job. YCSRT, almost have it tattooed on my chest. <laughs>